Hello guys, in this video we will discuss a projectile motion which is a projectile is launched from a point A with the initial condition shown in the figure determine the slant distance S which locates the point B of impact and also calculate the times of flight so in this portion we will see how we can apply the projectile motion principle on such types of problems Now assume the particle is located over this one and then it's launched with an initial velocity V0 which is 120 meter per second at the inclinations of 40 degree. Once it's launched, it hits the target. At point B, and then the distance of this one, the horizontal distance is given as 800 meter. Now the given part is this one, and the required will be this is length distance and the times of flight from point A up to point B. Now once we have this, let's write out the required part. Required is what's the slant distance and then also what's the time from A up to B. For the solution part, we know that the total flight covered in the horizontal directions of S, X is equals to 800 plus S times cos theta in the horizontal direction and then also in the vertical direction the final y will be equals to s times sine theta x will become 800 plus as in this case the cos theta means this is the slant distance theta to differentiate with the initial position theta let's say this one as theta 2 as theta 2 what that means theta 2 is 20 degree let's say theta 2 is 20 degree here so 800 plus cos 20 times s will be the first one and this will give us x is equals to 800 plus 0.94s let's say this one as equation 1 and the other one on the vertical direction y will become sine theory times distance s so the value of sine theory is 0 0.342 that means y is equals to 0.342s as equation 2 we know that v naught x is equals to v naught cos 40 degree which is equals to v naught is known so 100 theory cos 40 and then it will become 91.9 meter per second and the initial velocity for the y component is equal to v naught sine 40 degree which is equal to 120 times sine 40 degree and then it will become 77.1 meter per second since it is a projectile motion and then every movement is under a constant acceleration principle we have a formula for the horizontal x-axis is equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus half ax t squared 
since we have no any horizontal acceleration because the velocity in the horizontal axis is constant and then we have no initial position here so the only parameter will be vnotex t we know vnotex so if we substitute this as a numerical value we will get x is equals to 91.9 t let's say this one as equation three the same principle on the vertical direction final y is equals to initial y plus v not y t plus half a y t square but acceleration in the y is negative g so minus half g t squared now we have no any initial value of y but we have initial velocity in the y component then once we substitute that it will be 77 times t minus gravity is 9.81 and the half of that one will be 4.95 this implies that y can be 77.1 t minus 4.905 t squared let's call this one as equation four and now we have four equations and then also we have four unknowns the unknown parameters are x y s and then time t since we have four equations and four unknown we can solve it now to solve that let's apply some technique here now if we substitute equation one into equation three that means it is a value of x and here is a value of x if we substitute or if we rearrange these equations we can get that 800 let's write this one equation 1 and equation 3 combinations will give us 800 plus 0.9 for s is equals to x which is equals to 91.9 t so if we rearrange this equation as to become s so s here will become 91.90 minus 800 divided with 0 0.94 it will give us s is equals to 97.8 t minus 851 Let's this equation as equation 5. And the same equation can be applied if we just equate equation 2 and then equation 4. Y value, that means y is equals to 0 0.342 S equation 2 and the same thing is equals to 77.1 t minus 4.905 t squared from equation 4 now the same procedure can be applied here so if we rearrange that we can get that s is equals to 77.1 t minus 4.905 t squared divided with the coefficient of s is 0 0.342 so it will give us s will become 225 t minus 40.3 T squared. Now this is additional equation. Let's call this one as equation six. Now once we have this value, now combine equation five and six. We can get that s is equals to from equation five. It is ninety-seven point eighty minus eight hundred fifty-one. 
and then from equation 6 it is equals to 225t minus 14.3 e square that means we have this equivalent equation if you look over this one the only unknown parameter is time it is a quadratic equation now if you rearrange this one into the forms of proper quadratic equation it will become let's take this one into the left side 14.3 t squared plus 97.8 this one will be minus 2 25 t minus 851 will become zero here it can be simplified that 14.3 t squared minus 100 27.2 t minus 851 will be zero this is a quadratic equation having the coefficient of the t square is a negative 127.2 is b and negative 851 is c now to evaluate each time let's have t1 and t2 is equal to minus b plus or minus and the radical b square minus 4 ac over 2a They substitute the numerical values here minus of minus 127 is positive 127.2 plus or minus and the radical 127.2 squared minus 4 times 14.3 times minus 851 over 2 times 14.3 now once we calculate that we'll get t1 and 2 will be 127.2 plus or minus 254.7 divided by 2 times 14.3 will give us 28.6 this imply that T1 is equals to will be the positive sign 127.2 plus 254.7 over 28.6 and then T1 will become positive 13.35 second. Now let's calculate T2. So T2 will become 127.2 minus 254.7, which means the negative side, and then over 28.6, and then it will become negative 4.46. Since it is a negative value, time may not be negative, so this cannot be the answer. So the only answer will be the positive one, which is. 13.35 second is the time answer we can substitute this in equation 5 distance s is equals to 97.80 minus 851 which is equals to 97.8 times 13.35 minus 851 so distance finally can be 454.6 meter this is our final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we'll present you different interesting videos